Throughout history, empires have risen and fallen, leaving behind legacies that shape the world we live in today. One such empire was the Mughal Empire, which ruled over a vast swath of the Indian subcontinent for over three centuries. The Mughal dynasty was founded by Babur, a descendant of Genghis Khan and Timur, who established himself as the ruler of Delhi in 1526. Under Babur's successors, the Mughal Empire grew in power and size, reaching its zenith under the reign of Emperor Aurangzeb. Despite its eventual decline, the Mughal Empire left a lasting impact on India, particularly in the fields of art, literature, and architecture. In this essay, we will explore the history of the Mughal Empire, examining its rise, achievements, and eventual decline. The Mughal Empire was a Muslim state that ruled over a large part of the Indian subcontinent from the early 16th century to the mid-19th century. The Mughal dynasty was founded by Babur, a descendant of both Genghis Khan and Timur. Babur came to India from Central Asia and established himself as the ruler of Delhi in 1526 after defeating the last Sultan of Delhi, Ibrahim Lodi, in the Battle of Panipat. Under Babur's successors, the Mughal Empire grew in size and power. The second Mughal Emperor, Humayun, lost the empire to Shir Shah Suri but regained it with the help of the Safavid dynasty of Iran. Humayun's son, Akbar, is considered to be the greatest of the Mughal emperors. He expanded the empire to include most of northern India and introduced many reforms, including the abolition of the jizya tax on non-Muslims and the establishment of a new religion, Din Alahi, which was a blend of Islam, Hinduism, and Zoroastrianism. Akbar was succeeded by his son, Jahangir, who consolidated his father's gains and continued his policy of religious tolerance. Jahangir's son, Shah Jahan, is known for building the Taj Mahal, one of the world's most beautiful buildings, as a memorial to his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal. The Mughal Empire reached its peak under Aurangzeb, the sixth Mughal Emperor. Aurangzeb expanded the empire to its greatest extent, but his reign was marked by religious intolerance and economic decline. He imposed the jizya tax on non-Muslims and destroyed many Hindu temples. His policies led to widespread revolts, which weakened the empire and paved the way for its eventual decline. After Aurangzeb's death in 1707, the Mughal Empire began to decline. The later Mughal emperors were weak and unable to maintain control over their territories. The British East India Company took advantage of the weak Mughal rule and gradually annexed most of India. The last Mughal emperor, Bahadur Shah Zafar, was exiled to Rangoon by the British in 1858 after the Indian Rebellion of 1857. Despite its eventual decline, the Mughal Empire left a lasting impact on India. The Mughals introduced Persian art, literature, and architecture to India, which had a significant impact on the country's culture. The Mughal emperors also patronized the arts and sciences, leading to a golden age of Indian culture. The Taj Mahal, the Red Fort, and other Mughal buildings are some of the most impressive examples of Islamic architecture in the world. In summary, the Mughal Empire was a powerful force in Indian history, leaving behind a rich cultural legacy that endures to this day. From Babur's founding of the dynasty to Aurangzeb's expansion and eventual decline, the Mughal Empire played a significant role in shaping the Indian subcontinent. Despite its eventual downfall, the Mughal Empire's contributions to art, literature, and architecture continue to be celebrated and studied. The Mughals were truly a remarkable dynasty, and their legacy will continue to inspire and fascinate generations to come.